Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers. I'm looking at this book today. It's called Migrant Support Handbook. It's been written by Xu Xin Lu and Connor Johnston, and it comes to us from the Legal Action Group, which is the um, Access to Justice charity. It's a heavy book. It's brand new. It's a, it's a paperback. You can see the spine there. You can see the back, possibly a little bit. The, there is no shading area, so you don't quite know uh, which bits are which in the, in the book itself. But you've got a very detailed, you a very detailed index at the back, which is extremely helpful. Um, which goes, in fact, it's a very long index. This one, and you should be able to find from it everything that you're looking for, because the index actually starts. Oh, when I finally get there, there we go. So there's the index there. It actually starts on page 1125. It's a very substantial book, this one. You can see it's got um, footnotes at the bottom and it's got paragraph numbering, which you can see at the sides. So it's easy to find things in the 11 chapters. What you've got at the front is a standard uh, piece of, of information, biographical information about the two authors, Lou and Johnston. Then you've got the front page there. Then you've got uh, a, a quite a detailed content section running all the way through. You can see how it's done. There are 11 chapters in total. Um, as I say, it's a substantial book. Then there's a very important forward which is worth reading because this is a very hot subject at the moment. The actual forward is written by Sue Willman in September 2023. Then you've got the author's note about what has been happening uh, concerning the, uh, this subject itself. And can I just say that there are a list of contributors listed there, which I haven't put in the main details in the written review, but a lot of people from both Garden Court Chambers and Doughty Street Chambers are mentioned. Then you've got the some stop press information about changes. For instance, that includes the illegal migration of Bill, as it then was, and various other things that have happened. You've then got a lot of case law, which is there. And then you've got the statutes, of course, and statutory instruments. Then after that, you've got table, oh, there are the statutory instruments. Then you've got the quite useful list of immigration laws, because again, <clears throat> this is a specialist area of law where the immigration laws are very important. And you, you know, you do know, need to know your around, way around. You've also got the European and international aspect, which is also covered. So if, if the Brexiteers are still around, I'll give them a bit of hot air. <laughs> because frankly, we, we've still got an awful lot of stuff that, that links into um, what we have with Europe. Then you see there's an introduction uh, written by Connor. And it's, it's a standard one. This book is about migrant support. That is the rights and entitlements of persons from abroad to access state support. OK, so that's the basic mission statement and you can see immediately a lot of footnotes all the way through. Um, running through you can see a very large amount of information that deals for instance Borders Citizenship and Immigration Act um, 2009. There's been a lot of legislation. Can I just say that the only thing that isn't um, clear with this book is that normally you have little shaded areas depending on what's particularly relevant. You haven't got that because what you've got is the, the detail of the legislation in the book itself. So what do I say about the book? Well, the book was actually uh, reviewed by my wife Elizabeth. Um, she and I had a long discussion about the book and uh, I had a discussion as also with the Legal Action Group. And what we've come up with is this title. An indispensable handbook for specialists in immigration law, yet accessible to all interested readers, because there are, it's got a wide readership. There's a lot of misinformation around immigration law itself and the immigration laws. And of course, Parliament has had a considerable amount of difficulty. As I speak with this review, we are looking at the moment at the safety of Rwanda bill, which is currently going through Parliament. It's the third attempt by the Sunak government to try to get some uh, legislation through. It'll be the, it's the last chance saloon for them uh, uh, up to the general election, and then we'll see what happens thereafter. There are people still around, and I meet them regularly when I'm doing GB News or whatever it might be, who say, well, of course, all the people who voted Brexit voted to stop immigration. 
Now that's always been a bit of a problem, but the reality is Brexit was actually a lot bigger than just that. So what do we say about the book? Because Legal Action Group are really first class people, great for people like me as junior barristers advising people. We say this, is there a new law text out there that is more topical than this? Not to mention more vital than this one, probably not. Although uh, when it, many may argue uh, the point quite well, one way or the other. However, we think it's indispensable um, because mass migration, whether it's legal or illegal, has become an international problem, particularly for the United Kingdom. And in the view of many people, it's a problem that is well nigh insoluble. And of course, you've got all sorts of international treaties and other uh, problems associated with how we deal with this. And the United Kingdom is not alone. This is actually a massive problem um, across uh, the whole of Western Europe and, of course, the Americas and other countries. So it's something that, that the international community will be facing now for the rest of probably this century. It's fair to say, however, that immigration lawyers in particular, as well as anyone involved in this area, or committed to achieving uh, viable solutions to the uh, problems inherent in migrant support, will welcome this publication by LAG. As I've said, the authors are uh, Xu Xin Lu and Connor Johnston, and they've noted that the book, which was conceived some six years ago, in 2017, in fact, was painstakingly researched and written to replace the irreplaceable Support for Asylum Seekers, written by Sue Willman and Steve Kaffner, Queen's Counsel, as he then was, which was published by LAG in 2009, and I, in fact, reviewed that. Um, Sue Willman has, in fact, written the, the forward. It's sobering to recall, of course, how much and how quickly and how relentlessly the world has changed since then, making the problem of asylum seekers ever more acute. Uh, so the publication of this book uh, is therefore all the more timely. It came out around the end of 2023. And certainly the almost insoluble complexity of its subject matter is reflected in its more than 1,200 pages of scholarly and thoroughly uh, researched um, material which was presented in the tradition of LAG in a clear, accessible style. Accessible, that is, to not only lawyers, but to anyone interested in or involved with this detailed and certainly controversial and difficult subject, which, of course, has occasioned so much debate in the media and elsewhere. And, of course, it's very much an issue on the doorstep um, in, in whenever one is knocking on the doors asking people their opinions. So with its focus on the welfare and legal rights of migrants, the book provides an in-depth coverage of, for example, um, housing and welfare law, benefits, NHS access and provision and social services, as well as support for failed asylum seekers, which is a very controversial area, and reference to special cases, notably unaccompanied children, which is the biggest single problem area, I think, and most heartrending of all, the victims of human trafficking. It's a handbook that you could almost call encyclopedic. Certainly it offers specialists in this wide-ranging and many faceted and complex area of law a gateway to further research. It's important to note that the first 150 or so pages contain tables of cases, statutes, statutory instruments, immigration rules and so on. And also, for a volume of its size, it's remarkably easy to navigate because containing, as it does, copious footnotes throughout uh, with a detailed uh, table of contents at the front and an even more minutely detailed uh, index of about 115 pages at the back. A handy handbook? Absolutely. Um, I would say one thing, and that is that uh, recently um, judges have mentioned to me that it, they don't see very many books now in court. Everybody's got their laptop and, and that's um, what is the new norm. However, I do think it's quite useful to have these books with you because apart from the fact it's a good prop, if you like, when you're actually in court, and I say that quite clearly, that it's useful to have it there so that people know what you're referring to rather than a screen, which they don't know what you're looking at. Um, it is actually nice to have paper versions of documents um, basically for the judges and for 
other uh, people involved in a particular hearing. So uh, I think it's important to have a copy of this book, not just any sort of version that you might be able to obtain via the, um, the internet. So let me conclude by saying this. As immigration, both legal and illegal, will undoubtedly emerge as a prime issue during the elections that are coming up, and this is being recorded in 2024, and of course for the years beyond. It's a scholarly book, but yet eminently readable as a volume to all, and I think it will provide um, them with an in indispensable amount of detail which they would need, not only as practitioners, but as anybody who's interested in the wider ranging issues inherent in what is undeniably a difficult area of law. It's also controversial and it's, it's an area where <clears throat> a lot of people have uh, their own particular views, uh, normally coming from a particular political stance, I have to say, one way or the other. Um, and I'm not a lefty lawyer, whatever anyone says, I'm just a lawyer, like it, all of us are, representing clients. And it doesn't matter what they are, we represent them because that's our job. Uh, and it's important to remember that uh, in reality, uh, because we're dealing with emotional and technical areas where there are lots of appeals and lots of other pr um, process matters that come into it, it's important to realise when you've got a book like this, I'll just show it to you again, it's, there it is, when you have a book like this, heavy though it is, it's, it's useful to have because you never quite know there may be something you miss, especially if you use the internet. Because I find when I'm looking at the computer, I might miss certain things. Let's look at the book again. There's the spine and then the back. And if I just open it up, I'm looking here at Asylum Support. You can see again the structure of the book then uh, with the paragraph numbering. Some little footnotes here and there. There are a lot of footnotes you can see here. For instance, I just opened another page. Lots of footnotes there. And you can see again, that's Asylum Support then. Healthcare for Migrants. Again, a very controversial area. You can see again the structure of it. The policy content of the NHS charging regime. Again, that's an important area because of the costs that can be required when you are seeking medical treatment. The date of publication of the um, handbook is uh, the end of 2023. And I'm recording this in uh, the earlier part of 2024. Thank you again to LAG. You make our lives so much better by producing this work, these types of books. They're very helpful for junior practitioners and for older people like me, been around a bit. I started off at the round, around the time that lag started. So you've got some idea in terms of the legal profession, uh, how helpful it's been to people of my vintage. But thank you to everybody concerned. We deeply appreciate the work you've done. Thank you, bye-bye.